Hello, welcome to Foppy's Creations. I'm Jan. I aim to uh, create things from uh, recycled clothes, recycled fabrics, anything that I can recycle that, that I feel I can possibly do. Um, if you've been watching for a while, you know what I've been doing so far. I'm still in early stages of YouTube and showing you what I can do, but hopefully things will develop and I will show you more and more. My most recent one being um, a skirt that I upcycled into a bag, and a very nice bag it was too. I'm really pleased with that one. I also, in that same video, showed the beginnings of a Christmas garland I decided I would have a go at not made one before um, so today I'm going to show you how I'm now going to try and finish that off um, I'm working with things that I don't work with very often like um, I may have to use the glue gun which I'm not overly keen on because I always manage to burn my fingers um, otherwise I'm probably going to be using glue and double-sided tape uh, anyway it's probably going to get messy <laughs> so Yep, so, but first of all, I thought I'd finish my subscription to um, my Simply Sewing magazine, but I had another one arrive, so I obviously hadn't quite finished. Um, so, so I'm just going to open it and to see what's in that. Want to come watch with me? Okay, so... Obviously the usual magazine. This one it looks like, as you'd expect for the time of year, is lots of uh, Christmas things. Also got a pattern for a nice maxi dress. Not, well, I say it's nice, but it's not my sort of thing. But it comes free with the magazine, you can't complain. And then there's a lovely little toy there to make. Who knows, Foppy Creations might have a go at that. And a couple of nice blouses. I quite like those. That's quite nice. So yeah, let's just have a quick look inside. Oh, we've got... Oh, nice. That's nice. Butterfly. Oh, look at the penguin. Well, now you know I like a bag. I might have to try and make a bag like that. This little skirt. That's one thing I like with this magazine. They they do seem to cater for us larger ladies as well. I don't think we're all skinny. Now that to me is a a sight to behold. Walk in and see a lot of fabric like that. Also say, although nowadays I do try to avoid that, as you know. That's nice. It's like a almost like a uh, kimono type. Just a throw-over shirt. I like that. That looks quite an easy one to do as well. It says no pattern needed. I should be reading that. It's just for a floaty patternless jacket to wear basically with anything. So, ah. I have to make Christmas parcels and stars. I should be hanging up. A little advent calendar, a stocking. Well, yet again, plenty for me to do. Okay, so let's get on and do this garland. Okay, I've decided to start with um, the wreath. So I've got my felt ring started. I've got a whole tub of goodies here I won't be using them all but I just come across these nice little green flowers and because I've got these sparkly foam flowers I've decided just to add a bit of colour to them and put glue them in the centre first so I'll um I'll be doing that first let's see how many to do uh -oh. I'll do more green because that will keep a Christmassy theme to the flower. Maybe one more. 
yeah I think those I think they'll look quite nice so let's glue those on so I don't very often work with glue so watch this space and see what happens assuming I'm not going to need too much I don't know how long this takes to dry. Oops. Or even if this glue is going to work, we will find out. I might end up having to dig the glue, glue gun out. I'm not very keen on, as I said, on using that. Okay, so we let those dry. What my plan is, is to start with the bigger flower and graduate down to the smaller one then have the little ones around the other side so uh, we shall see what happens there for some reason I've got a an odd leaf and I think I'll put that in there somewhere as well now right, next what shall I work with I'm going to try my Christmas tree I think I found a glittery pipe cleaner. I want to see if that uh, works. When I first got these, I thought this silver bottom was going to peel off and that they were going to be sticky, but they're not, unfortunately. So I've been desperately trying to peel that off and it doesn't peel off. So Right, my plan with this is to lay it on the tree on there like that and stick that on because if I can show you and try and stick it on like that I'm a bit nervous whether the glue is going to work on that let's just see okay I've given in to the glue gun I'm still not convinced they're going to stay, but I've done these five flowers, as you can see there. Now I'm going to start on the left-hand side. I don't like the stringy bit on the glue gun, I have to say. It's hard to get rid of. Hold that on. Next one will be half on the leaf and half off because I'm going to overlap it a little bit. So that one. And this one the same again, half on the leaf and half off. Stringy bit again. I have to say I'm much better with sewing. There we go. <laughs> there we go. A bit more. Who knows? In time, I might get to like this. So we've done that so far. So I think that way up. And I'm just going to add some little ones around now. Maybe I'm going to put that leaf. leaf look okay there won't it yes so I can hear you shouting yes Jan right that one oh, from what I can gather you're supposed to put glue on both surfaces oh I'm running out of glue now I need to get myself a decent glue gun because this is rubbish There we go. So I've had these supplies for so long when I was going to do cards and make cards and sell them when we moved here, but there's so many people making cards and selling them here that I just decided I really didn't want, I'm not very good at all this. It's not enough. I've got the stamina, if you like. 
compared to some that do it all the time. Seems to be one little ones. I think we're all right with just one. Actually, that might be all right for putting more on. It might be too much. So, what do you think? I think it's not too bad. It's not like I'm going to wear it as a brooch. It's just going to hang on a on a bit of bow binding or something for Christmas. It's quite sweet. Okay, so now I'm going to try the tree because you can see I got in a mess with the tree. I tried the textile glue that didn't work so now we're going to try the glue gun and we shall see how we get on with that. I'm going to pause while I arrange what beads I'm going to use. I've decided on these sort of plastic diamante type um, beads and now I'm going to glue them on with the glue gun. I should be back when I've done that. There we go, I've glue gunned them on. I'm not so sure it looks very good but it's sparkly, it's Christmassy and you may have noticed that, excuse me, you may have noticed that um, none of this is recycled is it? It's just because I've got it here, I've not gone out and bought it special, I'm using what I've got available to me in my sewing room. This this little tree trunk came from a, a what was it, a sofa fabric sample book. So I, I've recycled that, I suppose, but the rest of it is all what I've bought over the years for crafting. And um, yeah, so I'm using what's here. I've not gone out and bought anything special. So that's that bit done. All I'm going to do now is quickly sew on the uh, star that I found a little felt the yellow felt star in my stash. Okay, I'm gonna move you down and you can see. So I'm still not very happy with this glue gun. That's just I don't use it often enough to get used to how it actually works, how much glue to use or anything like that, so. That's hot, but you have to use lots of, get lots of these bits everywhere. Okay, so there's the star. I'll leave that over there to dry next to my wreath. And we'll try and move on to the next bit. I'll decide which, which it's going to be back in a second. Before I move on, I just, I just found a lot of little um, yellow gems so I've just stuck them on as if they were Christmas lights so it looks quite good I've decided next to work on my little parcel or present and I'm going going to stick these what look like tiny tiny little snowballs can you see there I'm gonna stick them on randomly not too much glue on there again. A little bit. Don't squeeze the hard gen. So much glue to clear up afterwards. We've got all, this, all those stringy bits of glue, I'll have to pick them off after. There we go. A parcel. See that was about the other two. Now, oops, keep dropping my snowballs. I'm gonna put this bit of felt on the hat. Let's see, I've made a little felt 
bobble on the top. I'll put this on and then I'm going to add some more of those snowballs on the bottom of the hat. Bear with me. Right, here we go. A little bit. A little bit. Oh, run low again. This is quite a cheap glue gun I hear. That's probably why it doesn't work as well as maybe some that you might use. There we go. Now we've got snowballs on the hat as well. I can hear you all shouting at the screen saying you shouldn't be doing it that way, Jan, or you use too much glue, Jan. <laughs> Let's put a little bobble on the pom-pom. Right, there's that. Let's put that with the others to dry. Right, I'm not quite sure what to do with this. So I'm going to go on to my Santa's boot. I've put the white top on. I've made it with navy on the foot because I didn't have any black. So I'm going to now stick these three little hearts. Great. There we go. Right. The last one is going to be the complicated one because I've, there's lots of little elements. You can see there, I've made a fireplace. That's my hearth with, with a little fire and some boots. So all of that is going to need sticking together. So I think I'm going to put you on pause and do that and come back to you. There we go. One little fireplace. It's not too bad. It was difficult actually gluing it in the position that I'd actually placed them before gluing, but um, it's not too bad, is it? I'm now attempting to use the glue gun to stick some glittery pipe cleaners on the star. It's a bit hard to know what to stick on the star, but I thought this was a bit more appropriate. Oop, running out of glue. I do set myself some challenges. I've got glue everywhere. Ouch, ouch, ouch. There we go. I've done it with the, with the glue gun. I think I need a new glue gun and this is just, well, I, well look at it. <laughs> okay, I couldn't find anything to decorate the little bell with. So what I've done, I've, I had some little bells. So I've attached a little bell just so that it rings like a bell. There we go. Now I'm going to find something to put it on and it's probably going to be the orange binding that I've had forever. There we go, one finished garland. I haven't got the best place to hang it up at the minute and it's not quite Christmas yet but this just, just gives you an idea. 
I've got little pegs on it so I can hang them up in whatever order I want to hang them up. So it wasn't the most successful thing I've ever done, especially that horrible star. <laughs> but there we go. I'm the most pleased with the reef. And it gave me the the least grief. <laughs> I like the fireplace and I like the parcel. So I say, mainly the star is the worst. Well, that's that then. Have I learned any, less, any lessons from this? Maybe not do it again? Um... No, realistically, it's all good fun. Um, I've learnt some lessons on how, what, well, what not to stick. Um, I mean, it's the first time I've done it, so I mean, obviously, I've done, made some little things with felt before, but not an awful lot. As I say, I think the, I, I really, I love this one. I think that's that's come out really well, and my. The Christmas trees come out nice and sparkly, so that came out well as well. I'm not sure how long those little twinkly bits will hang on, but um, provided I pack them away well, or if I have to, I'll take them off and glue them on a little bit better with a very fine nozzle glue. Um, so that may be the only problem with that one. The star, maybe next time I would I would think ahead because it's just. Um, so yeah, I mean the pipe cleaners do, although I should be able to bend it to the right shape because of pipe cleaners, it was a bit difficult and a bit messy with the glue. Um, if a five year old had done it, I'd have said brilliant, but I should know better. And the parcel, I really like the parcel, that came out really nice. I was going to double side everything but I decided this would probably be against the wall so I wasn't too much of a panic on that. My little Santa's boot, that was fairly simple, you couldn't really do much wrong, you could maybe do some de different decorations on that. Um, again I was going to double side it which is why I put the, the fur as it were at the top of the boot both sides but, but as I said it's going to be against a wall probably so that isn't really necessary. Um, the bell, the bell, I might have thought about a bit more before and put some different things on it. But I put the little bell on; it gives it a little bit of a, a ring. Then you've got my Santa's hat. There's a little bit of some snowballs around the bottom. Not too bad. Not too bad. Again, this, maybe I could have put snowballs on the back as well or whatever, but. Then the one that's the fiddliest, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I'm still picking off bits of glue. Um, was the fireplace? I mean, could I have done anything different? Maybe you can come up with a suggestion. But I thought it was quite cute. So that's obviously Santa coming down the chimney. Maybe I could have put some legs on, but there wasn't an awful lot of room in my fireplace to actually put some legs on as well. So yeah. It's Again, it's quite sweet. So, yep. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I shall, as I say, pack them away carefully and hopefully use them this year. And um, if you can come up with any tips or any ideas and let me know what I could do better next time, then please do say in the comments. Um, if nothing else, I have taught you how not to do it. But um, you all said you thought it was going to, the garland would look lovely. And I hope it still does. It's just, um, it's me being hard on myself as usual. So um, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. And um, yeah, so bye.